Okay, come on. Catch up. I hit the start streaming button. I don't, oh, there we go. There it is. Oh, got to get rid of the ad first. That's the only bad part about me being monetized is I've got to skip the ads. Oh, top chat. I don't know who might be here yet, but let me... Let me get over here. Well, hello, Johnny. I'm trying to get my thing up there. Let me check my, uh, oh, hi, Rob. Hi, Saskia. It's not going to be that long of a live, Saskia. Mark, the man of the hour. Everybody, this is uh, com art pour, art pour, acrylic pouring art Kamehameha is Mark, a friend of mine in Germany. And he did this color palette on something. And I wasn't too thrilled with the colors, but I said, I'm going to try it. You know. Uh, anyway, let me see where I can get over to see the chat better. Tina, Alabama Tina. Oh, that's okay, Johnny. Hello, Chris. Anyway, um, I don't see Brenda here, but any of you that watched me in, uh, can't reach it. I wanted to show you something real quick. The clock that I did. I did have a couple of spots when I tried to put the resin down into the numbers I had a couple of spots where it didn't go all the way down and I got an air bubble so I got to see if there's a way I can fix it but I like these molds I know they got them on Amazon I got mine on um, um, AliExpress but I will look for a link for it I just wanted to show you guys that um, because uh, somebody made a mention that I would have a problem with it. Okay, these are the colors I'm using. Um, what I'm using is, is I'm using, um, let me pick it up, uh, Azo Yellow Medium, uh, Brilliant Blue, uh, Persian, Persian Rose, which is a kind of a lighter pink than I thought it would be, but hey, you know. And then my gold is going to be a mix of these two. The um, uh, Amsterdam Deep Gold and a little bit of the Deco Art Extreme Sheen. Thank you, Brooke. I wasn't happy with the st with the resin that didn't go down in the numbers, but you know what? It happens, you know. Anyway, okay. This is an 11 by 14 canvas. All I did was uh, tape off the back, and of course I put my uh, pressing seal on here because I don't like painting the backs, okay? And of course I always get my gooey fingers in there. And I hit it with some water. It's just uh, one of the thin canvases. And I am now going to do a flip cup. Thought I saw a piece of dirt on there. I'm now going to do a flip cup like uh, Mark did the other day. Okay, I wanted to show you this, Mark. I put little cups over these like, like you uh, had taught, taught me or showed us. So that's a good trick if you don't want your paints to dry out. Get a cup that's a little bit bigger and put put it down over the uh, thing. Oh, okay. I thought you would use that Amsterdam. Okay. Okay. So first, let me mix all these up to make sure they're they're mixed right. Um. <laughs> um. 
first I'm going to start with the uh, per, oh, Persian Rose. Wait a minute. Persian Rose and Azel Yellow. Uh, oh, pa is Petra here? Hello, Petra. Hello, Brenda. Um, Brenda, real quick. I think you were the one that told me about it. I did get some bubbles, if you can see it right there, and I think I got it on the on the eight. I did get some bubbles in the numbers, trying to uh, put the get the resin down in there. So I'm gonna have to uh, um, figure out a better way to do that. So nice to see you here today, Petra. Okay. I'm going to layer these cups, and I watched his video, I think, 15 times. You got a lot of watch time out of me, Mark. Um, so I'm going to pour them down in there. Oops, come on. The way he did it, okay. Uh, wait a minute. Trying see I know there's something under here that's gonna keep these from um from um um setting level. This is one of those washing machine tubs um that you get. Okay, now I'm gonna do the gold and the brilliant blue. And I know that he switches sides with them, so I'm going to switch sides with him. Okay. Oh, I did it wrong. Okay. Well, okay. I just noticed that. Okay, so I'm going to switch these around now. No, they're not switched. Phooey. Oh. Trying to recreate somebody else's pour... Is not always easy. It's not going to look anything like his. Okay, there's the Persian pink. Because I got the blue right there, I know the blue's got to go over here. Yeah, true, Johnny. There is no wrong. This won't be that long of a live. What's going to take the longest is the stretching. Or the tilting, I mean. I don't want to tilt it. So those of you who haven't subscribed to Mr. Mark yet, over at uh, Acry Acrylic Pouring Art Kamami, I pronounced it right this time. Ha! Okay. Of course, I have no paper towels over here, so I'll just use this cloth rag. Okay, uh, let me see. Yellow and pink. So I want yellow on this side and pink on the other side. Okay. But I am going to mix some new, some other paint. Ah, thank you, Brenda. Okay, I've got blue on this side, so gold's got to go on top of that. And blue's got to go on top of the other one. Now, when he put the blue on top of the yellow, it made such a pretty green that I thought, well, why not, you know? I'm at the bottom of my cups, and I'm trying to get them to come out. Now, I do have over to the side over here somewhere, just in case I need some um, flow help. Ah, uh, yeah, I think he does. I'm not sure. He's got ta he's got a tattoo sleeve on his left arm. Okay. I can't show you on this one, but I can show you over here. That turned out so pretty. So, let me... Uh, Okay, now we gotta wait for it to come out. I didn't know I 
kind of a tattoo it was on your arm, Mark, but I know that he's got a whole sleeve. I think that's so cool, too. My daughter's got uh, seven tattoos. Um, but um, she's got, I know she's got one that kind of starts on her, on her side and wraps around the back and then comes. Oh, hi, Julia. Um, and she's got like a, a couple stars on the side of her face. She's got one of those uh, piercings, too, that go right into your skin. Uh -uh, I could never do that. Okay. Here we go. Trying to get the last of the paint out. And I'm going to use the last, the very, very last of it on my corners. Because that's the part I always have the problem covering. So I'm just going to tap this out over the corners as like a little flow aid. See, I know the terms for this acrylic stuff. I just don't do a lot of it. Okay, I'm going to put that there. Oh, I've already got some cells starting. Okay, uh, he uses a heat gun, so I'm going to use my heat gun. Now, this is an Amtape. This is turned up all the way, but I'm going to turn the heat down. Thank you, Saskia. I'm going to turn the heat down. So I don't get... Cup turned out real pretty. So I don't get a lot of heat on this. Oh, hi, Holly. Hi, Hudson. I know I don't know if Hudson's sitting there with you. He's probably at, at uh, school. But you can, sh you can uh, do the replay later, Holly, and show him where I said hi. Thank you, Brenda. <laughs> Thank you, Julia. Yeah, kind of Easter colors. Okay. Now I've got to stand up. <laughs> yeah, I do too. And I know this is going to be the slowest part, okay? Because I don't want to go too fast. Look at those cells I got. That's That might be because of the... Uh, Deco Art Extreme Sheen. See, the paint's rolling over and it's like messing up those cells. I may have enough for it to tilt over this hole. Oh, I'm so sorry, Holly. That's right. You had to go back in for another treatment. Oops. Go slow or your paint will roll over the other color. You want to go slow. So, like that gold, this gold right here, I'm trying to get it to push the uh, yellow and the greenish one that it made with the blue, but now it's rolling over each other. There's no flow tr um, there's no silicone in this, okay? There is a little bit of water because I had added some um, flow troll. I did a 50/50 mixture, but those Amsterdam paints are pretty thick because they come out of a tube. But oh, come on. There we go. Well nope, still didn't get the corner. There we go. Oh, well, let me try getting this one over here. This is turning out cool. I wouldn't thank you very much, Brenda. But you know what? You can attribute these pretty colors to Mark. Um, uh, acrylic pouring art Kamehameha. Um, he's here somewhere. But this is his um, this is his color palette that he did the other day. He did it a couple of times. Oh, 
I got some cells over there with the yellow and the blue. Try not to mess up the, uh, mess up the, uh, side. Come on, over, 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 over. Thank you, Saskia. I love the cells I got with no silicone. Just flow troll in water. Okay, now I got to go around with a stick and clean off the bottom edge and try to get some of the stuff that's on the bottom up to the side. Just so I don't have bare canvas showing. Ah, come on. And then I will bring it up for a close-up. This was, I told you guys, this wouldn't be a long live. And I did it this early because of the time difference between um, Mark and I. He is seven hours, um, he is seven hours ahead of us because he's over in Europe. So, come on. Ah, got more drips. Okay, let me turn it around and fix the other side. Well, hello, Angela. Just trying to pat some paint on. See a little spot. Oh, see another little spot right there. And it looks like I got all the sides. Well, maybe not right there. I probably will come back a little later and do this. Um, so... Thank you very much, Angela. So, here we go. Here is Mark's color palette. Colors I would never think to use before. And I see one spot on that corner over there. You can see the nice cells, and that's got to be the Deco Art Extreme Sheen. Hi, Kim. Well, this is almost at the end because it was an acrylic pour. I do want to torch it real quick because I see some air bubbles. And I'm going to take my gloves off. Oh, okay. Have a nice day, Julia. Uh, torch. I see some air bubbles down here, so I want to pop them. But what's nice about this is the air bubbles, when they pop, you're not going to see any white below it because... It is, has no white base coat. Uh, Kim, I don't know if he's still in the chat or not, but um, Acrylic Pouring Art Kamami, um, there's a link down below in my description for his channel. And he, um, he um, um, is the one that um, did this color palette, oh, maybe about a week or so ago, and I had to order one or two of the colors. I didn't have them. Thank you very much, Mark. I love what Mark does. There he is right there, uh, Acrylic Pouring Art Kamami. Um, so everybody who hasn't subscribed to him yet, um, um, 
um, please do. And, um, you know, show some love over there. Thank you very much, Mark, for being here to see how I didn't destroy your color palette. <laughs> I'm not, I, I'm a resin artist, and everybody knows resin mixes different on the canvas than acrylics does. So, when I first started doing resin, thank you very much, everybody. Um, Mark, this was a great color palette to work with. I still have the tubes, so I might try them with some more stuff. I might try them. Thank you, Brenda. I might try some of those colors in my uh, bloom pours, which, thank you, Catherine. Mark, you do an awesome job with everything you do. Uh, one of these days, we're going to have to do a live side by side. Um, thank you very much, Kim. Um, it's not that Mark needs to help, but Mark, I want everybody here to go watch Mark because he's an awesome artist. So, thank you everybody for coming out. I told you it wasn't going to be that long of a live. Um, and I'm going to show this one more time. Um, see right there, I got an air bubble in the line of the seven. I got an air bubble in the bottom of the eight. And it looks like I had an air bubble in the bottom of the ten. So, I don't know if I can resin over this and maybe fill it in. Um... The only thing, Mark, is if you go live with me, you're going to have to talk. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I'm not, oh, hello, Elisa. Um, um, but we'll get together. We'll get together and we'll, um, and we'll um, 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 talk about it, Mark. Um, so anyway, listen. Um, I want to thank you all for coming out. <laughs> Well, that's the part about doing lives. You got to talk to the people. You got to say what you're doing. But we'll talk. We'll talk in uh, messages and and see how we can do it. Um. Anyway. Um. So I pr I may not be going live again. Okay. Um. Thank you so much, Saskia, for being here. Thank you, Rob, for probably watching over her shoulder. I love you guys. Um. Saskia and Rob are the, uh, oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> That's a new challenge, okay. Um, um, well, I'm sorry that you missed it, Elisa. Maybe you were at uh, work. So, listen, I'm going to let everybody go so y'all can go have your lunch, which is what I'm going to go do. Yeah, uh, Mark, Kim did a, uh, Thank you so much, Brooke. Kim, Mark, Kim did a live with me one time. She's never done a live before. We did a live side by side, and she was teaching me something. So maybe that's what we could do. We could do a live where you teach me something that I don't know how to do, and that way you should feel comfortable explaining to people what you're doing. But don't worry about it. We'll get together, and oops, I got some more little cells coming up. Ha! Huh? That is so cool. They look like, um, these look like, uh, wonky cells, and these look like little pearls over here. I'll make sure you guys see a dried picture of it, probably on my community tab, because I haven't had a chance to do a, uh, oh, bye, Tina. Thanks for stopping by. Okay, I'm going to let everybody go. I know I keep saying that. Um, I love the fluid arts right out of you guys. I can't say resin, because it's not resin today, okay? Um, you all are awesome. Everybody that comes by and watches my channel, I appreciate you guys. I love the thumbs up. I love the comments I get below my other ones, you know. Um, I love interacting with everybody on the chat. So, all I can say for now is, bye for now.